Oh, good morning, everybody. Oh, gosh. And go on, y'all. Do not come in here right now. God darn it. As soon as I... Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. You know better. Go on. I've done fed you. You got food in there and you got water in there. And if there ain't no food, I'll put some more in there and just... Well, actually, I've gave you enough food. Anyway, welcome to the channel. Sorry about that. I'm not going to stop and restart just for that. This is a... I'm just a real person doing real stuff. And we're going to read from Jesus Calling this morning. Uh, I forgot to read from it yesterday. So we're going to do June 22nd and 23rd. Uh, we are on the 23rd, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, we're on the 23rd, but we're going to read from twenty the June 22nd and the 23rd. Jesus calling, here we go. Take me for the very things that are troubling you, or thank me for the very things that are troubling you. You're all, you are on the brink of rebellion, precariously close to shaking your fist in my face. You are tempted to indulge in just a little complaining about my treatment of you. But once you step over that line, torrents of rage and self-pity can sweep you away. The best protection against the, this indulgence is thanksgiving. It is impossible to thank me and curse me at the same time. Thanking me for trials will feel awkward and contrived at first. But if you persist, your thankful words prayed in faith will eventually make a difference in your heart. Thankfulness awakens you to my presence, which overshadows all of your problems. And you got Psalm 116, uh, verse 17, Philippians 4, verse 4 through 6, and Psalm 100, number 2, number 2, verse 2. And that's for June 22nd. Now, let's go to June 23rd. Yeah, I know the dilemma of, you know, being grateful, but also being cranky about something and having a little animosity towards the Creator sometimes. That's happened before in my life, and I can't say there have been times that I tried to, you know, praise Him. At the same time, I was also trying to, you know, Cuss him. <laughs> like, you know, speaking out of both sides of my mouth. And uh, you know what I'm saying? But I, no more. I, I'm grateful that I, even on the worst, of the cr most crappiest of days, I got to be grateful. I got to give thanks where thanks is due. Um, and first and foremost, no matter how bad I feel, and sometimes it's not so easy to do that. Sometimes it's not that easy. But we can do it. We can learn to do it. But let's get on with this. Let my love stream through you, washing away fear and distrust. A trusting response includes me in your thoughts as you consider strategies to deal with the situation. My continual presence is a promise guaranteeing, guaranteeing that you never have to face anything alone. My children teeth on the truth, and I am always with them. Yet they stumble around in a stupor, unaware of my love and presence all around them. How that grieves me. When you walk through a day in trust and dependence on me, my aching heart is soothed. Gently bring your attention back to me whenever it wanders away. I look for persistence rather than perfection in your walk with me. Persistence over perfection. And my sister just texted me back, said she loved me. She's got to work today. She's on a 10-day stretch. But at the end here, we got Psalm 52, verse 18, Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, and Ephesians 4, verse 30, if you're interested. And, you know, sometimes it gives me the particular type of Bible that they're trying to refer it to, but I think that's up to you. So if you're in the King James Version, use it. If you're in the... Whatever other version, use whatever version you use of the Bible. You know, whatever translation. 
that's up to you. It ain't up to me. I don't really care. Uh, some people prefer this over that, and I don't think it really matters. Uh, if the translation is somewhat correct or pretty much on the money, then that's the point. Uh, me, personally, I don't really... I never cared much for the King James Version uh, in the old old language. Now, the new King James Version in the newer English, I can deal with, but there is still other... You know, we won't get into all that, and if you're interested in ever... Yeah, I'm smelling my socks to see how... Uh, whether I'm going to put them in the dirty clothes or not. And you know, this you last night, so I got a shoe missing in action, and I'm not happy about it. One of my puppies have drug it off. I can't find it out anywhere. I think the female dog might have took it under the trailer, so <sighs> freaking pissing me off. And yeah, I know, I am sound kind of, you know, I just read from Jesus Call, and then I say I'm pissed off, but I'm not, I'm really not pissed off, but these are cleaner. <laughs> I'm going to throw these in the dirty. And then this one's just a random sock. But if it's... I already say, if I... If the dog... If I've only wore a pair of socks for just an hour, like not long during the day, and then I done took them off, I'm not going to just throw them in the laundry. Yeah, those are clean. I can use those. I might wear them to church. That's how we roll, man. You got to... You got to be like that, man. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask somebody today about how much this costs so I can try to get a couple of copies. And we're going to give a couple of copies of Jesus Calling Away. I'm going to try to get at least two copies and have like one giveaway and then a little later have another giveaway for it. So that'll be two different giveaways. And then I have a currently a giveaway for two comic books. Uh, Ethan Van Skyver's uh, Cyberfrog, Warts and All, and then a copy, uh, you know, of Cyberfrog Blood Hunting. Uh, if you're interested in comic books and or if you ever collected comic books, which you hadn't collected any comic books in a while, you enter that, go find that video, comment on it, be subscribed to the channel, you'll get entered in to a chance to win those two comics. And maybe you'll win and uh, you get them, you read them, and that gets you back into wanting to read and, and, and you know, be in the independent comic scene. So that's, that's going to be fun. But, um, a lot, a lot to come. Uh, I'll never stop doing the spiritual based content, but I am moving towards doing uh, some pop culture stuff. So once I work out the schedule, I hope everybody will still stay around. So there'll be a few times a month. Well, I'd say at least once a week, we'll be having uh, a day that I dedicate just to certain type of content where I talk about comics or movies or toys or something. And, uh, then as live streams, uh, I've been live streaming all week, sometimes twice a day. That's going well. The channel's growing. We're almost at 800 subscribers. I suspect we can get to well over, we can get over 800. We will, if we, if we want to guys, we can be over 800 subscribers by the end of today. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I come out of church today and get back on YouTube and say that we're already at 800. Uh, I think we're at 798 right now. So guys, Let's get this up. Let's get the subscriber count up. Let's do whatever we can. But first and foremost, give praise where praise is due and uh, put your creator first. If you don't have a creator that you believe in, uh, put yourself first. I'm just trying to be real. You ain't got to believe in what I know to be true. And I'm not trying to shove it down your throat. But I know it. I don't just believe it. I walk it. I taste it. I see it. And I'm in it, the midst of it all day every day and that's why i'm gray cloud sage of the eternal moment and for this moment i'm over and out ditto